Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to be doing this pastel, celestial, starry, glittery, beautiful look and I cannot wait to share it with you. So keep on watching. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. So I'm going to be using Mint Ninja, which is a gorgeous mint colour from the Nail Mate range. I'm also going to be using Lilac Rose, which is a beautiful pastel lilac colour. Along with that, I'll be using some loose glitters, which are the Silver Holographic Lens Flare, which honestly, I just find absolutely mesmerising, as well as the Micro Shards. So these Micro Shards are absolutely gorgeous. They are super fine micro shard pieces of glitter and this one is a pink flame i'm also going to be using these metal studs which are in the shape of stars and moons and these are available on my website as well as everything else they are so cute and just really really pretty along with that i'm going to be using nude attitude crystal clear and also the rainbow aqua brush which is to die for absolutely freaking gorgeous So I've already gone ahead and applied the clear almond nail tips to my practice hand and I've used the instant nail glue to do that. I'm coming in with the Nailmate Outer Space Tip Cutters and just trimming these down. For once on my practice hand I decided to do a nice wearable length, a short square set. So I'm just trimming all of the tips to the same or similar length and then we'll file them after. Once I've finished trimming the nail tips, I'm coming in with Glitter Planet's 100-180 grit nail file and I'm just uh, refining the side walls, making sure the tips are blended in nicely and then just shaping the free edge if I need to. I will come in and do that afterwards as well once I've applied my acrylic, but I just like to have a nice base to work on. So for the first nail I'm coming in with Lilac Rose and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the tip of the nail. I'm going to blend it down and make sure that it's laying flat and smooth just so we haven't got any lumps and bumps or thick areas. Once I've applied that I'm going to top it with the Pink Flame Micro Shards. Now this combination was absolutely stunning and you really couldn't tell how gorgeous it looked on camera but in real life or in person it was just so pretty and you got a real shift of purple iridescent over the top of that lilac with those shards. It is stunning. So now I'm coming in whilst that acrylic is still wet and I'm just placing on some of the lens flares. Thank you. 
Once I'm happy with that, I'm coming in with Nude Attitude and I'm applying a bead first at the join where the acrylic matches the natural nail and I'm going to go ahead and blend that and feather it down very gently. We don't want to cover the entire nail, we just want to have this as our bead that creates the first part of the blend. Once I'm happy with that, I'll come in with the cuticle bead and blend that down into the existing acrylic. Wow, I feel like I cannot talk today. <laughs> And look how gorgeous that looks. It's so cute and pretty. I think I I know I've been saying I want to have a, a huge long set, but I'm feeling these. Like I feel like a nice manageable length would also work for me right now. So moving on to the next nail, this is going to be a vertical ombre. So on one side, we're going to have the lilac rose and on the other, we will have mint ninja. And I'm going to blend those together, working up, building in layers, just because we want to create a nice seamless blend without creating a thick nail. So I'm going to work in two layers, two layers of the um, lilac, two layers of the mint, blending in between each layer to ensure, like I said, a nice even seamless smooth transitional blend of acrylic and the reason why it looks so easy is because it is with the nail make powders they are so buttery so creamy and they just blend so so well Once I'm happy with my blend, I'm coming in and I'm going to be adding on the metal detail studs. I'm adding some stars and some moons and I was a little bit annoyed at myself, I'm not going to lie, because these are kind of a very thin stud, they can be bent prior to applying them to the nail, but I forgot to do that and I just whacked it on there. There I was just trying to bend it in position, but the acrylic hadn't set, so it was like sticking to my gloves. Um, so anyway, I just rolled with it anyway. But yeah, just make sure to kind of add a little bit of a curve into those and then they'll fit the nail really nicely. As you can see, I'm just adding some of the silver lens flare in between the studs I've already applied. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some of the pink flame micro shards as well, just randomly to the nail. For this next nail I'm coming in and this is going to be a nail that is a full mint ninja which is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite colours. It's gorgeous and stunning, it's buttery, it's smooth, it's beautiful to work with as you can see, it's just delicious. 
I absolutely love it. Ultimate fave. Um, yeah, so I'm coming in with a cuticle bead. And then once I'm happy with the colour placement, I'm going to go ahead and apply some more of these studs from the jar that I showed you earlier on, as well as some of the lens flare as well. Once I'm happy with the application of my lens flares, I'm going to come in with the pink flame micro shards and just dab them on the nail randomly. And that's just going to add a little bit more depth and really tie in the set as one. Next I'm coming in with Lilac Rose and this is going to be a full nail of Lilac Rose along with the Pink Flame Micro Shards. So I'm just going ahead and applying my first bead, working it down the nail side to side, making sure that I have a nice full and even coverage. And then I'm coming in with my cuticle bead and I'm just making sure that it applies really nice and neat to the cuticle area pushing the bead back up into the cuticle with the tip of my brush but making sure that it doesn't touch any of the side walls and then feathering and blending into the existing acrylic. Next I'm coming in and I'm going to go ahead and apply the pink flame micro shards over this entire nail and the effect is absolutely gorgeous, I love it so much. I'm then coming in with some of these silver lens flares and applying these over the nail as well. You want to make sure when you are applying larger sequins of glitter that they do lay flat and there's nothing kind of poking out so then when you encapsulate they are protected and they won't be filed away because that is the worst thing. Like you encapsulate something then you file the nail and you end up with like half of a piece and it's like really? Next I'm coming in with Nail Make Crystal Clear Acrylic and I'm going to encapsulate all of the nails and please pay attention to how gorgeous Nail Make's Crystal Clear is and how beautiful it works and holds itself. It is waiting for me to manoeuvre 
it into position you could use it wetter if you wanted you've seen me use it wetter and just like kind of you know really brush it down the nail you can work with the system dry like this where you walk the product you manipulate and move it and you don't let the product work for you even though it still does work for you you can see it's still self-leveling it's just not out of control and that is easy to do with the nail mate system. You can use it wet or you can use it dry. It is completely up to you. It's depending on how you form your beads, how much liquid you have on your brush and just how you want to use the product. It really does tailor to your needs. Like I say, you've seen me use it wet in previous videos. Here, I'm going to use it a little bit wetter. It might be on the next bead, I can't remember, but I need it a little bit wetter to make sure that it really encases around the metal studs because if it was drier, there is a possibility that I could have an air bubble there. So as you can see there, I'm just stroking it down and it kind of blends to nothing or a super thin layer. And that's because, like I said, I need to encase those metal pieces. Then when I apply my next bead, I can work that over the bottom area of the nail. But yeah, as you can see, to tell I'm I'm obsessed with Nailmate's crystal clear acrylic. If you haven't already guys, please do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well. Also, if you prefer shorter sets and designs, let me know because I can definitely do more of that rather than focusing on super long nails that probably no one is ever really going to wear but like me and a few other people that wear long nails. I know quite a lot of people do. I am not saying that. I'm just saying maybe I should do some shorter sets and then those, you, those of you that wear short nails have got kind of some inspo. Alrighty, so I filed and buffed off of camera, removed the excess dust, and now I'm coming in with the Nailmate Super Gloss. I'm going to apply these to all of the nails and then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds.
Okay guys, so this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I absolutely loved creating it for you. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And always remember guys, you are bomb.com, lit as fuck. And don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. Also, if you are still watching and you made it this far, let me know if you would rock this set. And if you want to see more short designs like this. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back